In this video, we will discuss about object repository concept. So the first thing before we start discussing about object repository, what is the test object? As we have discussed earlier, when we record, you have to record some objects into its object repository. An object which is recorded by UFT in its object repository is called test object. So that means the actual object will be in application and the test object is in repository. So this test object will be used to find the actual object. So when we record, the object gets added automatically in object repository and also we can go to resources object repository and manually add objects. Yes, that is possible. We can do this. I'm adding one object. If you wanted to add multiple objects, yes, you can still do that. How to do that? So here, add object to local, select any parent object. Let's say I'm selecting window here. And you can select default object types. It is going to add all the default objects that are there in that window. That means in, the, in that screen, window screen. You can see this. So, OK, cancel WPF button. There are so many things got added. You can delete them. Right click and delete them. You can modify the name. And for every object that means these are all test objects and these are all actual objects that are in application in older version of uh, uft we even call these objects as runtime objects something like that but so these are the actual objects in application and these are test objects that are created for testing purpose that means we will be testing on these objects with the help of you know by, by writing some code and uh, this code what we write when we run it when we run it it will check for whether that particular object exists whether this particular object exists in object repository if it exists it will find that object in application and perform the action that we have specified here remember this is the uft, UFT execution process so it, takes the object that we have specified here it checks for that object in object repository and perform the action that is specified so this is what it is going to do and what and all we can do object repository we can add objects we can delete objects we can rename objects and for every object it adds some properties so these are properties that are given by developers and UFT is having something called test object model. And that's a pre-configuration of how to recognize an object. That's a pre-configuration on how to recognize an object. That means when I'm adding a text box to, to object repository, what properties of this text box should get added into repository? And when I'm adding a button what properties should get added into object repository so those are all uh, pre-configured in uft that's called test object model and you can even find that in object identification center sorry it's it's objects by uh, tools so where is that object identification so this is the place where you can observe i wanted to find a text box so that's a wpf application so let's say wpf edit is given so it is taking dev name right so dev name and wpf type something like that and it is taking those properties so you can start seeing it so dev name and so some text it is taking right so what else okay, that's that's for button right okay, wpf button button yeah you can see that dev name and text is given here and automatically it shows dev name and text right so let's say if you go for any text box 
Tezen name is a text box. It taken only dev name. And please find that what is configured here. So, and go here, WPF edit is the text box and you can see that dev name is configured. So this is a priority based properties. We have mandatory and desktop properties. Okay, this is all uh, a different concept. Uh, we'll discuss later, but what you have to understand here is when you add an object, for that object, properties gets added. With these properties, UFT will find the actual object in application. Right, so you can delete objects, you can add objects, you can delete properties, you can edit properties, but if you modify properties, there is a problem. It will not identify the objects in your application because these are the actual properties. But if you modify names, there is no problem at all. This is, okay, I'm changing name uh, from OK to OK2. Yes, it still works, right? You can see that it is changing OK to OK2, right? As I told you earlier, when you execute, it is going to check for object existence in object repository. If it exists, then it reads the properties. With these properties, it will identify the object in application. That means using test object, it is identifying the actual object in application and performing the action. So you can modify the names. There is no problem at all. But make sure the names what you are giving here are meaningful. When you read the code, you should be able to understand that. Right. And you can even highlight objects in application. You can see that. And also, you can locate objects. Everything is possible. Let's say I don't know where my text box is okay, Locate in repository. So I don't know where my text box is. Let's assume that we have. 100 objects, how to find it? Yes, now you see it is it is uh, uh, selected. And you can add multiple objects or if you don't know some properties, you can add, uh, 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 you can define a new test object on your own. Right, you can even add a image of an object. So let's say I wanted to add an image of this object. Yes, you can still do that. So these kind of things are useful when UFT is failed to recognize something. So now it is selecting image of that particular object. So image. So it, it gets added. You can rename it. I'm renaming it to cancel. Yes, it works. So you can add objects as a normal object. So normal object will have the properties and you can add an image object. That means if you are not able to, uh, uh, if UFT is not able to recognize that particular object, you can uh, add an image of that so that you can click on that particular image. So this will be helpful in case of uh, any complex technology where UFT doesn't recognize the objects, then you can use this feature Right, you can enter text on it or you can uh, click on it. You can perform that by using by uh, using uh, image. It can find it and this is called insight. This is called what? Insight, insight identification. So that's why it shows that, you know, add insight object, right? So let's say if we wanted to use these objects in some other test. So these are all stored in your local and if you wanted to use these objects in other some other test, then we can have, you know, export local objects or export and replace local objects feature. And we have a concept called shared object repositories, local object repositories kind of concept. So there we'll discuss more about it. But for now, just remember this object repository window is giving you a feature of adding, deleting, modifying objects, and also add properties, delete properties, and also highlight up object in application or uh, locate in repository. And we can export local objects and we can create a separate file of object repository, not as a local one and a shared one. And also we can even use that object repository here. Okay, and many things are possible here. Got it.